everyone it is literally 10 past 7 in the morning and i'm up i'm doing some uni work i'm up so early because i was gonna go into uni today and i just i woke up and i was like no i'm not driving there today so i'm just working from home um but i thought i'd start a reading vlog now um i'm talking a bit quiet because everyone in my house is asleep still so reading plans i'm currently reading survive the night by riley sager i literally just got this like two days ago no i got it yesterday um from amazon it was only two pounds on amazon so i thought i might as well just get it while it's cheap and i didn't know what to read after reading house of earth and blood um but em said that this is really fast and i'll get through it quickly and it'll get me out of my sort of book hangover that i have so I decided to pick this up. I only got to page 51 yesterday, but already it was really fast to read. Um, it's basically about this girl called Charlie who wants to leave college, um, but she needs a lift home and she doesn't know anyone to give her a lift home. Um, so she puts this like sign up on a notice board, basically asking someone to give her a lift home and she meets this boy called Josh who says he's going that way anyway and offers to give her a lift um so it starts at 9 p.m um that's when he picks her up and basically his story kind of isn't adding up and there's also been murders on the campus at the university or like in the area um and his story's not adding up and Charlie's kind of getting suspicious of him. Um, so yeah, this is basically about this girl called Charlie who has to survive this trip with this guy who she thinks is a serial killer. So yeah, it sounds good. Em and Sophia, I know, didn't love it. They said it was a bit stupid. Um, but I'm gonna see what I think. Me and I, me and Sophia have like complete opposite taste in thrillers so maybe I'll love this one since she hated it but we'll see <laughs> Tuesday um, and I read a little bit more of Survive the Night yesterday. Um, I'm on page 91 and I have a theory. I think, I'm not going to tell you if my theory is right at the end obviously because that'll be a huge spoiler, but I think that it's not real, that none of what is happening is real. Um, so basically the main character, Charlie, she sees like movies playing in her head and they're kind of like hallucinations um and it's not actually real she just gets like the sort of like visions of like movies in her head and she has to be like snapped back to reality like brought back and i think that the whole book like the whole thing that's happening with her in this car with josh i feel like it's not actually real and at the end it's going to be revealed to be like just another movie in her mind so i won't let you know if that's what happens or not because that would be a spoiler but that's my theory right now Please ignore the dressing gown. Um, 
I'm so tired. I've been trying to wake up earlier every day. But it just means I'm so tired. It's literally 20 past 8 in the evening. And I could go to sleep right now. But survive the night. I've got about 90 pages left. 85, 90 pages. And... Okay, so theories. I still kind of think that it could be the thing that I said before where like the whole thing is not real, the whole thing is just a movie. Um I still definitely think that's a possibility. Um I also feel like it could be like cuz she's a film student, right? So I actually also feel like it could be that she this is a script and she's like filming this thing for her film course at uni like i feel like she is either imagining it all or she's like put put it all on as like because she's making a movie those are my two theories i really hope one of them was right i'm gonna look so dumb if it's not right but um we'll see i want to try and finish it now although i feel like i'm gonna fall asleep i think i'm gonna read till nine so for 40 minutes and just see how far i can get I think once I get like far enough in when there's like only a little tiny bit left I'll just want to carry on and finish it so I'm gonna do that now. It's 20 past nine which means it took me exactly an hour to read those last 90 pages. 90 pages in an hour is so good this book is so fast. I loved it. I'm sorry to Soph and Em. I'm sorry I know that you didn't like it but I liked it I actually really liked it. I think that some of the, some things that happened in it weren't my favourite and I kind of wish that they didn't happen. But I still really, really enjoyed this book and it actually scared me. Um, I'm going to give it four stars. I'm sorry, Sophie and Em. I know you didn't like it, but I did. Um... I'm not going to say if any of my theories were correct. I'm just going to say that I liked the ending and, yeah, I liked the way that it was done. And I loved the last the last chapter. It was like, yeah, it was kind of like an epilogue. And I loved the the last line in it. I love what happened in the last line. Or what was revealed in the last line. And yeah, I actually really liked this. I'm very happy that I read this. I am so tired today. I literally woke up at 7am. Like, without an alarm. I just woke up. And I'm just, I'm just too tired for today. But, so obviously I finished Survive the Night last night. And it's kind of put me in like a thriller mood. So I think I'm going to stick with another thriller. Um, and I think I'm going to read As Good As Dead. This is the third book in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, which I read the first one, the summer of 2020. I read the second one, the summer of 2021. And while it's not quite summer yet, I feel like 2022, it's now the time to read the third one. Um, this is quite chunky because it's like the last in a series. Um, it's about 550 pages, but I feel like because it's YA and it's like a thriller, um, I feel like it's just going to be fast paced and easy to read and I don't feel as intimidated by it as I would a different 550 page book. I'm going to read this. Um, if you don't know what this series is about, I'd be surprised, but I'll tell you anyway. It's about this girl called Pip who is in her like final couple of years of school i think she's in her last year now or she's finished i don't know um but um she basically solves these murders and these cases that are happening around her the first one was about a um murder that happened and then a suicide um and then the second one I actually don't remember what the second book was about. I don't remember what the second book was about right now. I'm sorry, but I don't. And then this one, this is about her having a stalker. So this case is about her. Normally she solves cases about other people, 
but this one's about her which is exciting um so yeah this is what i'm gonna read in the fade and you're too far away for me to get my name in someone keeps blocking my way i can't feel further away oh, wait on a moment to say that hello it is saturday today um yesterday i did some reading sprints on m's patreon with her um we did about three sprints of half an hour each um and i managed to read 100 pages of this i'm on like page 150 um and now honestly i want to finish it today but obviously there's oh god i nearly dropped it obviously there's a lot left um so if i don't finish it today i'm definitely going to finish it tomorrow because i'm going away for the week from monday to friday i'm going to liverpool um and i don't want to take this book i want to take a different book so those are the plans on the moment to say that i want you you know that i want you halfway through now i need to stop for tonight it's 10 o'clock at night and i just can't read anymore i'm too scared if i carry on i'm not gonna sleep so i'm gonna put it down for now and hopefully finish the rest tomorrow in the day when it's light and not as scary <laughs> please forgive me um so i wanted to finish this today i have not finished it but i only have like a tiny bit left and i think i'm gonna finish it tomorrow morning because i don't think i'll enjoy this last bit as much if i'm tired so i am gonna finish it tomorrow morning um so i'm just gonna carry this um video over to tomorrow as well but I've read over 200 pages of this today and oh my god this book is actually wild like this is this book is insane Pip the main character is so so unhinged like she's insane she's a lot more unhinged than the last two books um and this one I've actually been scared at some points like the first two books i wasn't really that like it didn't scare me i think because this is about this is like first person this is happening to her but in the other two books she was like investigating it was happening to other people not to her so i think because this one's happening to her it's making me more scared because it's like more in detail and more like it's just more scary in my opinion um also some of the some of the things that are described in this book are gross like really make me feel sick like they're disgusting like this isn't really a spoiler but they talk about she researches like um rigor mortis and like liver mortis and like the things that happen to a dead body after the person has died and the way it's described is just disgusting it makes me feel sick um so yeah this book is crazy i have literally i think i've got 90 pages left so it's just a tiny bit so yeah i'm just gonna finish it in the morning um but yeah i'm really enjoying this it's just 
It's crazy. Wow. Ignore this guy. I finished the book. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I really enjoyed it. The end started to get a bit emotional. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think because it's like wrapping it up and obviously also because just the relationship I love. But yeah, Pip the main character is so, so unhinged. I think she definitely needs therapy especially after what happened in this book also i just can't believe the things that happened in this book like it's just crazy like in real life this just i mean maybe it does happen in real life i don't know but it just seems so insane um but i did really enjoy it and i'm glad that i've finished the series so yeah i'm gonna give it five stars so this week I read two thrillers, Survive the Night and As Good As Dead. And I think it's definitely got me out of like my book hangover after reading House of Earth and Blood. Yeah, I'm definitely in a better reading mood now. So I'm really glad that I read thrillers this week. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye. My heart, it started racing.